Hey there everybody. I wanted to do this update today because I just became aware of some information that everyone out there needs to know. So if you are watching this video, when you get through watching it, please send it out to everyone else um, that is on your contacts list and you can also uh, just copy the link at the top of the browser there and send it out in emails if you would too uh, so people can be aware of this. This has to do with the Conficker virus. Uh, this virus has been around since about 2008, but there is an update that is scheduled to launch. And that update is scheduled to launch on April 1st. So uh, I did verify this. This is a legitimate risk. I went to the Microsoft website and read up on it. and this is a risk that everyone needs to know about if you are using a Windows based computer. That would mean if you have Windows on your computer um, and I believe it's probably just about all versions of Windows. So um, the, the problem with this virus is that it this new update will be a pretty nasty one and it is a self-replicating virus and that is bad, bad news. Um, it can also affect anyone who, if you have like USB jump drives, if you have downloaded stuff onto your USB jump drives and you already had the virus laying dormant and it attached itself to any of those files, then when you use your jump drive on a computer, it can upload itself to your computer that way as well. So I'm going to give you guys some steps here real quick on how to protect yourself from this virus. All of the information will be in the description box to your right. So click more info and you will find the links there. Um, so what you need to do is, first thing you need to do is run your antivirus software and make sure that it is updated. That's always just good practice to do that. Make sure that you've got it updated currently and that you run it. Then the next thing you need to do is you need to go to the Microsoft link that I will link to the right and you need to run their malicious software tool and you just download, you click the link and you download that and you run it and it has a quick version and a full version you can run the quick version. I recommend if you have some time that you're going to be away from the computer to run the full version of that um, because that will run through your entire hard drive so if there's anything nasty laying out there then it will find it. Secondly, after you've done all that you need to go to the second link that I will put in here and you need to download the patch. Microsoft does have a patch for this but you need to download the patch and click the link and it will bring you to the patch page and uh, just about halfway down the page you'll see a listing of all of the Microsoft versions uh, the Windows versions and you need to pick which one you have now if you don't know which one you have most people probably are using um, uh, I know like with XP most people are probably using Service Pack 3 by now but let me just tell you how to find out which version you're using and I'm doing this off of Windows XP. You just go down to your toolbar at the bottom of your computer screen, you click start, you find your control panel, you click control panel and that's going to bring that up and once your control panel comes up you should have an icon that says system and double click on system and that should bring your system properties box up and that will tell you right there it will say system uh, mine says Microsoft Windows XP Service Pack 3 and that's how you find out which one so after you've done that then when you go to the Microsoft link you just find the link for your version of Windows that you're using click on that and it will download the patch and then you need to run it you need to install it and that should cover your computer so anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Like I said, this is really serious. Um, I believe that they said that there are about uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 million computers already 
that are affected by this, and it is so bad that it has, it has already affected some government computer systems and some military computer systems. So you need to make sure that you protect yourself. So spread this around, if you will, please, so that others can be aware of it. And hope that helps somebody. You take care, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.